Hey guys, so today we are going to be breaking down the incoming Zenkai Awakening for LF Full Power Broly. So just before we jump into the details of what this guy does, uh, his Zenkai will be releasing on Wednesday the 29th, which is standard reset for uh, the week. Uh, this guy is going to come out on that day. I think the free-to-play Android 18 is going to come out on that day as well. We're also going to have a switch over to the new co-op season on that day as well. So it's going to introduce the Fusion Warrior uh, unique equipment tied to that co-op season. So uh, some things are starting on the 29th. I think there's also, there's also some events starting on that day as well. I think the challenge mode may not start until then as well. So um, anyway, Broly's not available right now, but his data is in the game. So we can take a look and see at what he is going to be able to do when he gets his Zenkai Awakening. So... Um, I do have his kit pulled up here uh, on the side, which will let me know what has changed between his pre and post uh, Zenkai uh, a set of abilities here. So uh, before we even start, I also want to just say that this guy has some of the best equips in the game. So I would actually not be not be shocked if they didn't really give him a ton of stuff. He has his own unique equipment, which. It's not the greatest unique equipment ever, but it's still pretty damn good. And then don't forget, he also has that like really, really good unique equipment that is not specific to him, but it does actually give him 20% extra damage inflicted because he's a powerful opponent, Super Saiyan movie character. So those two equips together on this guy actually make up for a lot of extra damage he, he, can, he can potentially get. So we'll see what they end up doing here, but let's go ahead and see what his stats look like. Again, we're gonna subtract 13,000 because of the title boost. So, wow, I mean, even with even with subtracting 13,000, he's going to be at 297 strike. 297,000 strike attack, 270 blast. Looks like he's going to be right around 190k to both defenses. Okay, good start. Really, really high stats for Broly here. That's crazy. All right. Uh, strike is normal with blast armor. The blast has a uh, key restoration, which I believe was already part of it. Yes, it was. All right. So the blue card, the blaster cannon. Uh, so this is massive damage cancels enemies attribute up uh, attribute upgrades and buff effects upon activation activates three times. That is new. That was not on this previously. Um, and then the 30% chance to faint was already on the card. So the removing buff effects and attribute upgrades is actually a new effect that was not on there before. Green card, Roar of Awakening, uh, restores own key by 40. Uh, that goes up from 30. 20% damage for 10 counts. That was not on there previously. Card draw speed by one level for 15 counts. Cannot be stacked. That's the same. And then reduces damage received by 30%. Cannot be canceled. Activates once. That's the same. Actually, no, that's not the same. Um, well, the effect is the same, but the uncancel ability is new. Prior to Zenkai, it says this applies until enemy combo is finished. So it sounds like it only applies until he takes damage from one attack and then it goes away. Now it looks like it's just permanent. Permanent 30% of reduced damage. So that's pretty good on there. So you want to make sure you're always saving at least one green card for Broly because that's a really important buff. Okay, let's take a look at his ultimate. The Gigantic Force deals massive impact damage, applies the falling effects self upon activation. 40% ultimate damage inflicted for three timer counts. That goes up from 30%. Minus 100% to enemy sustained damage cut effects for three timer counts. Uh, nullifies endurance. So fun fact, this guy is so old, his ultimate did not nullify endurance. <laughs> now it does, thankfully. Um, nullifies unfavorable element factors for three counts. Wow. That is new. That's crazy. I did not expect him to give type neutral on his ultimate huh type neutral on his ultimate okay inflicts force switching on hit and blast armor yeah that this actually did gain a significant buff endurance nullification and type neutrality and 10 percent extra damage okay sure all right let me scroll up to his main ability here Limitless Evolution draws the Ultimate Arts card Gigantic Force next. 25% health and 50 key. No, 60 key. Okay, it goes up from 50 to 60 key. Uh, nullifies enemy special. So he gets cover null for 20 counts, which goes up from 15 counts. And then cancels own attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. That's the same. Uh, Z ability, we obviously know it's not going to change. Zenkai ability, we know is for blue movies, which is really good. Imagine if, like, your Super Janemba. Super Janemba is getting 
77% strike attack from this guy. 77% <laughs> strike attack. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and check out his um, unique abilities here. So 50% damage inflicted against Tag Saiyan. That's the same. 50% strike damage inflicted against all characters except Tag Saiyan. That is also the same. Um, applies the following effects to self every time this character uses an arts card. Um, restores key by five. That's new. That key restor that key restoration is new. Uh, Twenty percent damage inflicted for ten counts. Uh, yeah, that's that's the same. Applies the following effects to self when this character or performs a vanishing step. Restores key by 15, 20% damage for 10 counts, and then 20% to damage inflicted for 10 timer counts after enemy attack is over. So he already did have those 20% damage buffs every time one of these things happened, but the key on using an arts card and the key when vanishing are new. So, interesting. All right, Convergence of Wrath is the second unique ability. Cover change against strikes, which obviously is comboable with the blue card. Falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Restores own key by 15. That is new. We did not have key restore on, on entry before. Uh, reduced damage received by 40%. Um, that's new. He actually didn't have that at all, which is really good. Uh, randomly destroys one enemy card, which I think is also also new. Oh no! So the okay. So I'm just trying to compare because it's written differently in the in the kit that exists right now. Uh, the 40% reduced damage received did exist, but it was only active when he's cover changing. Now it's just always active. So he's gonna have 40% here, and he's gonna have an extra 30% from the green here. So pretty good, considering his def his uh, stats are really high. Okay. Uh, applies the following effects to self when enemy switches characters while this character's in the battlefield. Restores health by 10%. Activates five times. That's the same. Uh, restores key by 15, that's new. Restores vanishing gauge by 50%, activates five times, that is new. Or not, sorry, that's the same, that's the same. Uh, restores vanishing gauge by 20%, activates twice, that's new. So he's actually getting 70% vanish, uh, but the 20% is only going to be twice. 25% damage inflicted for 10 counts, that's the same. And then card draw speed by one level for 10 counts, that's the same. Okay, so they basically gave him more Vanish Restoration. He now destroys a card. The reduced damage received by 40% is now just, like, always active. Uh, okay, so not, like, insane buffs here, but, like, a lot of the... What's the best way to describe this? Like, a lot of the old Dragon Ball Legends stuff is now gone, and they got replaced by, like, more modern... More modern takes on what he already had access to. All right, so these are obviously going to be new abilities here. Dimension Shaking Intimidation. Applies the following effects to self after changing cover. Restores health by 5%. Uh, nullifies enemies. Reduce key effects for 15 counts. Okay, so that's after he changes cover. Mm. Applies the following effects to enemy every time they use a strike or blast arts card while this character is in the battlefield. Reduce key by 5. That actually could be pretty annoying. I don't think it's anything insane, though. Um, inflicts attribute downgrade. Minus 5% strike and blast arts power for 5 counts. Yeah, that's not that's not crazy. Uh, and then the final one, Unstoppable Progress, applies the following effects to self when battle starts. 30% damage inflicted and then 50% to key recovery. Yeah, I was waiting for the key recovery. There it is. Okay. Because he didn't have any before. 15% uh, damage inflicted every time one of the following conditions is met during battle. 15% to damage inflicted every time one of the following conditions is met during battle. When 30 timer counts have elapsed from battle start. When this character uses a vanishing step three times. When this character uses strike arts five times. When this character uses blast arts five times. You know what this reminds me of? This actually reminds me of Kakarot Goku a lot. Um, and the reason why I say that is because I like to, I like to call these abilities questing abilities because basically what the game is telling you to do is complete this quest and then they're going to reward you with certain, you know, certain buffs, right? So for example, on this one, uh, you th th these don't these kind of sound like challenges like for for stages and like single player events. Like land the first hit, you know, uh land a, a blue card with like cooler or something, right? It's kind of like that. Um but it's rewarding you with damage for doing those things. So 15% per each of these things, that's going to be 60% damage in total, right? 
Um, it also says when this character uses blast cards five times, so you don't even have to land the cards. Um, f three vanishing steps could be annoying, I think, but... Okay, so 30% damage. Let's just say on average you're getting two of these active. Let's just say it's 30% more. So 30, 60, and then you're doing, let's just say 50 here, so 110. Uh, every time you use a card, you're stacking damage. Vanishing, you're stacking damage. When the enemy hits you, you're stacking damage. Uh, the green card is giving him damage as well. Plus, he has insane equipment. So I, I actually really do think this guy could be pretty good. I've already seen a lot of people say this guy doesn't look very good with his Zenkai Awakening, but... I I don't know. I don't know. I think this guy definitely has the potential to be pretty good because he's a very snowball-y character. Obviously, if you don't snowball with the snowball-y character, he's not going to be very good, right? But I think this guy will have his moments for sure. Um, so there is the Zenkai for LF Full Power Broly. This is the oldest. This guy, along with Goju to Blue, are the two oldest LF characters to not have their Zenkai Awakenings. So I think they probably were intentionally holding back on giving them Zenkai Awakening specifically for this anniversary. So I think I would anticipate Goju to Blue to also get his Zenkai at some point during this anniversary um, because they're giving us a Zenkai for an LF so early. Like the first, almost the first day of the anniversary, we have a Zenkai for an LF. It, that's very rare. So I think they're probably doing that because they're going to give us multiple uh, LF Zenkai's here. So I wouldn't be surprised if Gogeta got his Zenkai. And honestly, I, I wouldn't even be surprised if the original blue Goku and Vegeta tag character got their Zenkai either. I think it's probably, it's it's good, it's time for them to get one because an entire year ago, we already got the Zenkai for Sword of Hope Trunks who released at the same time. So I don't really see a better time to do it than now, but let me know what you think down below of the Zenkai for LF Full Power Broly. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.